a wind and rain lashed Paynton in Devon sums up one of the coldest marches in memory. A year ago, this was the same scene in a spring heat wave. In March 2012, day trippers enjoyed the sunshine. Now the same scene is cold and deserted, with fears Easter could be a washout. And it's the same story in Scarborough. This snap was taken last March. One year on and Scarborough looks very different. The beach is all but deserted. There's a bitterly cold wind and a distinct lack of holiday makers who should be spending money with local businesses. Can I get you, darling? A few yards from the beach, the Newcastle Packet Pub would normally be looking forward to a busy run up to Easter. The weather means it isn't. Would you want to walk on the seafront with the snow and the rain and the ice? This time of the year, it's the older people that come as well, and they're not going to come down here if it's wet, windy, icy. You know, it's just not happening. The cost of the unseasonably cold snap is considerable. Gritting just one mile of road once can cost more than £20. Traffic delays, school closures and the inevitable accidents all add up. With more cold weather forecast, the worst isn't over yet. And the cold and wet will probably hit our pockets too. These spring lambs can't thrive in conditions that are nothing like spring. And with many arable farmers having given up trying to plant crops, there are warnings our food bills could go up. The, all the old farmers, they've never seen a year like, like we've had. Seen lots of bad spells, but not, not continuous for, for nearly a full year. Um, but, uh, we've just got to grin and bear it and keep going, do the best we can all, all the time. After one of the wettest years most people can remember, this will go down as one of the coldest springs, and summer seems a long way off. Gerard Tubb, Sky News, North Yorkshire.